friends and welcome to the sixth video of this tutorial series. Until now, we have been running our Flask app on the local server, right? And in order to keep our messenger bot running, we need to keep the Flask app running on our local system. And it doesn't seem to be a very feasible task, right? So now we are going to run our app on cloud. So we will be basically using Heroku. Um, Heroku is a cloud application platform which allows me to run my applications entirely on cloud. So in this video, we will just be focusing on uh, how to set up the projects folder for Heroku deployment. And then in the next video, we will be deploying our Flask app on Heroku. So first of all, you will need to do some installations. First of all, you will need to install Heroku CLI. You can search it, Heroku CLI. and it will show you how to download and install for different OS uh, for Windows you can download it here from here 32 bit or the 64 bit for Ubuntu there are some lines ok there are some commands for terminal so you can install it from there so Heroku CLI is the Heroku command line interface it will provide me the methods to interact with the Heroku web services directly from my command prompt ok and the next thing is git CLI so git is the versioning system and git CLI git command line interface will allow me to interact with git directly through the command line ok so you can download it from here the git downloads and according to your OS you can download it Linux and Mac OS users will get get pre-installed I think so you don't need to worry about it so now once you have done this you need to install some python dependencies ok so I go back to my projects folder and I will have to activate my virtual environment and now you will need to install pip install g unicorn so g unicorn is uh, basically a http server for running python applications ok and we are installing a module for it right so heroku uses g unicorn for running python applications and we need to install it because we are going to deploy our app on Heroku ok now the next thing is to create a requirements.txt file a requirements.txt file will contain all the third party libraries that my flask app requires to run ok so the, in order to do that you need to do this pip freeze requirements.txt so what will happen is that all the third party dependencies will get written into a file called requirements.txt and let us see if it gets us uh, ok so requirements.txt is here if I open it you can see that it has gunicorn, it has flask, it has pymessenger so all, basically all the third party libraries that my flask app will require ok now the next thing is that you need to create a proc file a proc file will tell Heroku that uh, which python script or which file contains my flask app so basically it is telling which python script to run first ok so for that you simply need to um, I'm going to create um, a file eco uh, I'm going to create proc file ok and here it gets created and in that you will need to write something web I'm going to use g unicorn server ok and then the name of your python file which contains the flask app so that we have named app.py so I'm going to simply write app and then app so this is it you have created your proc file and we are almost ready 
what do we need else? Um, we have got proc file, we have got requirements.txt, we have installed Zunicorn. Okay, so if you are running on Python 2, you will need to install one more dependency which is WSGI ref. Okay, so this module comes pre installed in Python 3, but for Python 2 users, you will need to do a simple pip install WSGI ref and then you will have to add it to requirements.txt in the same way we did yeah okay and now the next thing is to create a git repository here so i'm going to make git in it okay so it has initialized an empty git repository in my projects folder and now um, let me see git status so it is showing that these are my interact files proc file app.py my event requirements.txt now one important thing to note here is that i do not want my my one folder to be uploaded to heroku because i have already told heroku that what are my requirements right so i'm going to write another um, a git ignore file which in which i will tell it that which folders or files to ignore so I'm just going to type my I'm just going to type my when so it will just simply ignore all the files or the simply the my when folder so let me try again git status so you can see here now it is not showing um, my one folder right and now the next thing is to write a commit message git commit m uh, dash m and i'm writing it as initial commit you can write any message here okay and okay so first i have to add these files right these simply are untracked files so i will just git add and i'm putting a dot here because it is my initial commit and I simply want to add all these files so git add and this dot and then that commit message okay so it has uh, added all those files and now the next step is okay so we are, we are done here and now the next task is to push this git repository you can say to Heroku which is simply called Heroku deployment and I think we should cover that in the next video okay so that's it from this video thanks for watching